Welcome everyone to an experience like never before. Get ready to set your heart racing with India's fastest sport. With the latest of the racing cars from around the globe, we are bringing to you Formula Regional Indian Championship. Starting off with India's first street circuit in Hyderabad, the championships will pan out at Madras Motor Racing Track in Chennai, Kari Motor Speedway, and Good International Circuit. With the traction to go lightning fast, the racers in their cars will set ablaze Indian tarmac thanks to the state-of-the-art technology on the racing cars. Don't hold your breath anymore. Fueled by Alfa Romeo's engines as the heart of every car. Top speed, aerodynamics and the power to thrill at your will. This racing endeavour will be a one-make championship with Team Prema. A certified Formula Regional Indian Championship is here and here to stay. Hello everybody and welcome to the final round of the Formula Regional Asian Championship 2022. Jake Sanson here with you for the final three races of this epic conclusion to the championship. It really will be a sensational battle as Arthur Leclerc goes from pole position to be at the front end of the starting grid. We are going to be in fantastic form right from the get-go. It will be a sensational battle as we continue to go racing in this magnificent championship. Arthur Leclerc goes off pole position as he races for the start, and we are going to see how things play out. It will be a sensational battle for all of the competitors as we run from the get-go. But pole position goes the way of Arthur Leclerc. If he manages to win this race with Pepe Marti, who starts down in P6, all the way floundering down the grid, then it's going to be a great one. Away we go, and there's a full start already. Nobody has moved on the second row of the grid. Third row of the grid is up to the first corner. Arthur Leclerc is going to battle his way to the first corner with Jack Crawford and Dino Beganovic. It looked to me as though that was Gabrielli Mini who was left on the starting grid. So as they fly their way around the first hairpin, it is the Mumbai Falcons one and two as they come through and out in first position. It is a perfect start for the championship leader, Arthur Leclerc. Where is Pepe Marti? He is down outside the top six by the look of it. So a terrible start for the Spaniard. And that pretty much seals the deal before we even complete the first lap. So an incredible start to the race. And it's a very exciting start so far as everybody is battling away for position. But we will continue to see how the battles uh, continue to display as the racers are in fantastic form at the moment and they battle away. So are we going to get to see this battle unfold? The race continues on its way as the drivers are in fine fettle as they move away from the grid. Excellent stuff so far. But the battles are raging as we continue here around the first lap. They go down out of the long, fast left, right, left sweepers and down to the new hairpin at the foot of the course. So let's see how it is all going to play out. Great racing at the front end of the field. The two Red Bull young guns are running third and fourth at the moment. Isaac Hajar runs there just in behind the American Jack Crawford. And as they come up the straight, they're going to battle away tooth and nail as they run in close formation down the back straight. It'll be very tight as they continue on their way through. But now we're going to see what the drivers can give us as they race in position down towards the chicane. And is there going to be a few choice maneuvers? Well, it looked like Oliver Behrman had a bit of a move or two from one of his opponents as the drivers try to fight away for position. And there's contact. Somebody has lost their front wing there. 
So a bit of a moment on the far end of the field. That looked like one of the Black Arts cars. That might have been Thomas Nuwedi. So a bit of an issue there, but already a big start for Arthur Leclerc, who leads. Pepe Marti is currently running down in sixth position, I do believe. In fact, it's even worse than that. He's now in eighth place behind Oliver Behrman and uh, also behind Patrick Pasma. So big problems there for the Spanish driver. His championship aspirations have taken a massive hammer blow and he's already got pressure from Pierre-Louis Chauvet and Delano Vantoff. In fact, no, that's Pepe Marti way down the field. In fact, he is down in 23rd position. So Marti has had a horrific opening lap. I thought that was Marti, but in fact, it's his teammate who is uh, further up the field. That was Delano Vantoff and Pierre-Louis Chauvet. So big problems for Pepe Marti. And it looks pretty much done and dusted already for Arthur Leclerc in front of his teammate Dino Boganovic. All Arthur Leclerc has to do is outscore Pepe Marti by 10 points. And it already looks like he's going to do just that. It's Delano Vantoff in the Pinnacle Motorsport car. His teammate Pepe Marti a long way behind him. So Delano Vantoff is just enjoying life as he stretches out in front. Excellent stuff so far as the contenders continue on their way. But it is an absolutely sensational battle so far for the drivers in the mix as they run to formation. So it is looking good at the moment as out in front, Arthur Leclerc from Dina Boganovic, then Jack Crawford and Isaac Hajar. They continue to duel away, but it's definitely going to be a close run thing as the contenders run down the back straight. And so far, so good for the drivers as they continue in their way. Couple of choice maneuvers down into the chicane potentially. So they will run to close formation, but it's definitely going to be close run things as they run together across the line. And it's a bold move from Arthur Leclerc as he runs in front of Dino Boganovic, then Crawford, Hajar, Mini, Aron, Behrman, Pasma, Vantoff, and Chauvet. Pepe Marti is struggling to get himself back into contention, but he has moved his way back into 20th. So he is charging his way back through the field in order to try and make up for lost ground. So it's definitely going to be a close run thing, but it will be very tricky as the battle is uh, running together. So the race is going to be very, very close indeed as the contenders uh, continue on their way for forward. But the battle will definitely be very close as they run in formation. And so the battle is well and truly joined again. But out in front, it is Arthur Leclerc who runs from Dina Boganovic. Then in second, it is Jack Crawford. Isaac Ajar runs in formation. Then Gabrielli Mini, Paul Aron, Oliver Behrman, Patrick Pasma, and Delano Vantoff. Then Pierre Louis Chauvet, Lorenzo Fluscia, Michael Beloff, Francesco Brasci, Hamda Alcubaisi, and Oliver Goethe. Then Sami Megatunif from Lena Bula, Nicola Marinangeli, Ayato Iwasaki, and Pepe Marti. So the top 20 run as they are in formation. But as they come through, it is definitely going to be very tight stuff as they run together. So now we will have to see exactly what the score is as they continue to run in close proximity. They come off the back straight. It's been a very clean race so far, even though there was the slight moment uh, further back for, I think it was Ido Cohen who has had to bring his car into the pits to have it repaired. So Ido Cohen has uh, repaired his front nose cone, but otherwise all looking very strong. So a very tall order at the moment as the drivers continue to uh, battle in formation. But out in front, it is all going full guns blazing for the driver out in front. And that is the number 10 of Dino Boganovic behind his teammate Arthur Leclerc. So Leclerc and Boganovic, one and two. And there is definitely going to be a bit of a party down in the pits later if this is the way it's going to finish up for the Mumbai Falcons because it's one and two for them. Their Red Bull junior counterparts for Abu Dhabi Racing by Prema and High Tech GP. Jack Crawford and Isaac Hajar are running in third and fourth. Then it is Gabrielli Mini in fifth position in the High Tech GP car. Sixth place for Paul Aron. So they continue on their way. But we are having an exceptional run at the moment. There is there going to be a bit of a challenge from these guys. They're spreading out quite far, actually, in the top four. So Arthur Leclerc has got a decent advantage over his teammate Dina Boganovic. The Red Bull Juniors in their two separate teams, Abu Dhabi Racing by Premier's Jack Crawford and High Tech GP's Isaac Hajar, are doing the best they can to try and stay in touch. But it's all looking pretty safe and serene at the moment. This could be one of the simplest races of the season for Arthur Leclerc, who already has three wins to his name. 
and has yet to win a race at Yas Marina. But if he wins this one, then he is going to clinch the Formula Regional Asia Championship title. An absolutely phenomenal opportunity for him, and he knows exactly what the score is to uh, get this race won. It's been absolutely phenomenal. So it is definitely going to be a tough stuff moment at the moment as the drivers continue on their way. But the battles are very close indeed up at the front end of the field. There is Patrick Pasma trying to take on Oliver Behrman as they go through the chicane. And that's Vantoff in front of Chauvet. So still the drivers continue on their way in fine style. But just how close is this battle going to uh, continue to be? As they run together, we will have uh, an exceptional run, an exceptional display from the competitors as they continue to charge forward. But what a performance it is going to be from the team. They continue in position. Leclerc, Beganovic, Crawford, Hajar, Mini, Aron, and then the rest of the field. So it's all going full guns blazing as far as the team are concerned up at front. But we are going to have an exceptional uh, party if this uh, all plays out the way it's supposed to do for the teams. They've been absolutely on it over the course of the weekend thus far. We really have had a sensational battle over the course of the weekend so far. But the battle is uh, still looking very neat and tidy for all of the competitors out there. So still the uh, race is well and truly joined up in front. But it's nice and tidy at the moment as everybody just keeps themselves nicely to themselves. It's been a very exciting run up until this point. So still the battle is well and truly joined as the drivers put on a bit of a show here. Arthur Leclerc out in front of Dina Boganovic and they have gone well away from the rest of the field. So still the battle continues on. It's going to be a very interesting run all the way through this race as it continues. But we will still have an excellent performance from all of the drivers as this uh, race continues to play on. A fantastic stuff so far. And now the two Red Bull drivers are starting to get a little bit close to each other. So there could be a bit of a change here as the drivers continue on their way. So we're going to see some exceptional battles from the drivers as they continue on their charge. But is there going to be a move from Isaac Hajar to get himself up the order? Because he's definitely working hard to make it happen at the moment. So now they will try and do the best they can with it, but it's uh, not going to be terribly easy. And is he going to make his chance? He's just picking his moment here at the moment. He's just taking it nice and easy. He has to try and wait for an opportunity to come through. So obviously, it's going to be very interesting to see how things continue to play out. But the battles are well and truly joined as they continue in fine form at the moment. This is the battle a little further back. This is between Flusha, Belov, Brashi and Hamda Alkubaisi, who's made a really good impression this weekend. And behind her is the new driver this weekend, Sami Megatunif, the Frenchman, who has come in for the one and only appearance of his season. It's been absolutely sensational as the uh, battles continue. But we are very much in a uh, strong performance here as the competitors continue in fine style. Waiting for the opportunity to come in the middle of the field. So let's see who is going to make the ultimate overtaking move down the back straight. The top ten have got well and truly clear. And so the battles continue, but there is a, a couple of overtaking moves looking likely to happen there. That's Owen Tanjavelli trying to shake off Leventa Revej. And in the chicane, there's a little bit of dicing for manoeuvre there as the 23 of Pepe Marti tries to take on Lena Bula in his bid to move forward. Marti is up to 17th, but he needs to get back into the points and he needs to get to a minimum of second place with Arthur Leclerc up front. So Pepe Marti is doing the best he can. But this is turning into a losing battle for the Spanish driver at the moment. It's uh, a bit of a heartache, but there's not a lot he can do about it except just keep pushing and hope that it's going to come to him. So a very tricky situation. There's no two ways about it. 
but he's just got to do the best he can. So the race battles continue. He's been pushing very hard from the start. But are we going to get to see the race battle we came to see? It will be very tricky from the get-go. And now, oh, big tax slapper there from Delano Van Toff. Is that? No, that is still the number 12 uh, rival, Pepe Marti. Pepe Marti was trying to make the bid there on the Levent, on Sammy Megatunev, sorry. So a very tricky situation to be in, but the battles are still going around the track. They are still pushing very hard. So a big moment there. It's been a bit of a tricky one right the way throughout. But certainly the competitors are giving us plenty of excitement out there. So now we will see what happens as the drivers continue on their way through. It won't be an easy battle, that is for sure. They're going to have to put on a big burst of speed to try and make this all work and come together. So now the drivers are putting on an excellent show and an excellent display as they continue. Bit of a run wide there from one of the pinnacles, I think that is, in the mix. So uh, they're still trying to make the best of it. And still the drivers continue on their way forward as the race battles for position. So the uh, competitors will continue to push. Now, this is going to be an interesting one for Oliver Behrman because he's got to try and shake off Patrick Pasma. They go through the hairpin. So now we're going to get to see what happens as a result of all of the battles and all of the uh, big moments as they continue to come through. But still, the battles rage. And still, we have got a very close run thing as the competitors come through. But there is the run from Oliver Behrman as he continues to hold off Patrick Pasma. At the moment it is Arthur Leclerc who leads the race in front of Dino Boganovic, Jack Crawford and Isaac Hajar, the two Red Bull Junior Young Guns in their separate cars. The Abu Dhabi racing by Prema and the high-tech GP cars. Fifth place at the moment is Gabrielli Mini in front of Paul Aron. And then we have Oliver Behrman from Patrick Pasma. So a very big difficulty for the drivers trying to chase down the Mumbai Falcons pair but at the moment they are one and two and this is exactly where they want to be and if it finishes like this then it is definitely going to be the title for the Monegasque 15 and a half minutes to go in this race car six has a track limits warning a first warning at turn 16 now that is Isaac Hajar who is right behind his fellow Red Bull young gun although they are in separate teams of course so as they make their way down the back straight together, they're obviously going to be working very hard to make sure they are in a sensible position as they come through. So still the battles are well and truly joined. We are going to have one heck of a display from the competitors out there as they continue to give us uh, plenty of excitement and drama around the course. So still they race in position. But the battles are going strong. Arthur Leclerc leads out the inside. Here comes the move as they go wheel to wheel, the two Red Bull Juniors. And a big wobble from Isaac Kajar as they continue to run at wheel to wheel. And Jack Crawford holds off his opponent on this occasion. So still, there is a close run thing between these cars. Still, we have a close run thing. But it's very, very tight, that is for sure. So still, the Red Bull Junior drivers go wheel to wheel and battle around the course. They give us all sorts of drama with a little bit of a run side by side between the two. And Isaac Kajar running wide as a result. Jack Crawford just able to hang on to it. Very close indeed between those two. Paul Aron trying to keep up in touch with Gabrielli Mini. So they continue to battle away, but for Arthur Leclerc, it is looking very strong at the moment as his team are looking very strong and very sharp up in front. And it's been a, a very simple, very smooth race flow for the team at the moment as they continue to uh, battle away. But it will be an absolutely sensational run for the competitors as they continue to charge forward. And now they come towards us. Great racing so far from the teams. They sweep through the left, right, left sweepers and out onto the bottom up part of the loop once again. So now it is going to be very closely run, a very tight 
mix of competitors out there on the course. Have I seen a little bit of damage for one of the Evans GP cars? Yeah, that's a bit of a damage to the front wing there. That is the 14, I do believe. Slight damage there to Nicola Marinangeli's car as down towards turn one, which of course is the master hairpin on this particular occasion. Running side by side. This is the battle again between Pierre-Louis Chauvet and Delano Van Toff. Delano Van Toff snaking off onto the curbs. It's, uh, Dil it's uh, Pierre-Louis Chauvet that goes off, in fact. Delano Van Toff stays in position. And they've got a big wobble from the car behind. That is Francesco Brasci. So Francesco Brasci in the three Y UAE car is trying to move his way further forward. And still, they battle away in position. Very close run stuff. Very tough. Great battle. So still, the competitors race for position as we run in close proximity and close formation. But it is Arthur Leclerc who leads the way at this moment in time. Oh, all sorts of battles around the course. We saw just there the 27, Delano Van Toff and Pierre Louis Chauvet battling away, and they are still at each other's throats. Chauvet is trying to now drop the very talented Francesco Brasci, who is all over the back of him. So still the race continues, but it is Arthur Leclerc who leads, and it is absolute heaven sent for him because Pepe Marti is down in 14th position, and that is terrible news, really unfortunate for Pepe Marti. He got a terrible start, barely got away at all, and now he has got to try and fight his way back through the field, and in 11 and a half minutes' time, it will all come to nothing anyway because Arthur Leclerc is out in first position. So it's going to be a very tough battle for all of the competitors as they continue in fine form. But now we are in a great position as the battles are well and truly joined. Still the competitors run in close proximity. And it's first and second for Arthur Leclerc and Dino Beganovic. They run through on the far side. Still a sensational battle. And as they come through the chicken, oh, a big moment there as we've got a little bit of an issue for the 34. That is Sully Luch. He was trying to battle there with uh, Khaled al Kubaisi, I do believe. And he's got an issue, or someone's gone off the road there. That's one of the Evans GP cars running off the course. That's Nicola Marinangeli. So I think he had damage to his car anyway. And now Nicola Marinangeli may well be peeling off. We've got a retirement as well, two retirements, in fact. Amna al Kubaisi and Ido Cohen. So neither driver has been able to uh, make it through to the finish. So very difficult situations then for the drivers who are trying to uh, work their way up to the front end of the field. Second warning for track limits for the number four car. That's Gabrielli Mini. But this is an absolute domination from Arthur Leclerc and Dina Beganovic. Exactly what the team wanted. In a fantastic position. They are out in front and they are taking charge of the situation. And with about 10 minutes to go, they are going to be absolutely delighted when this race wraps up. A very different format for this weekend by comparison to the fact that what we had four weeks ago, because of course the circuit here that's being used is still the Grand Prix layout, but the start finish line is now the support paddock uh, due to the uh, proximity of the Asian Le Mans teams who are on the main straight this, uh, this time. But what a sensational race this is going to prove to be as the competitors are still very closely tightly knit between third and fourth position. Jack Crawford and Isaac Hajar. The Red Bull Juniors still going strong. But Arthur Leclerc is having a wonderful race out in the lead, pushing hard and giving it everything he's got. And it isn't going to be too long now before he gets the job done here. Majestic performance from the Monegasque. He really has been magnificent over the course of the season. He's been consistent throughout. His lowest finish this season has been P9, and he has scored points in every single race this year. It has been terrific as far as the Monegasque is concerned. The younger brother of Charles Leclerc, and he has been wonderful. So it's going to be absolutely wonderful for the Monegasque to finish up in terrific form and great fashion. But now we are going to see a bit of a party, uh, provided that nothing changes, of course, because Dino Beganovic is still there in second position. But where are the rest of the field? They have just been dropped as Leclerc goes 3.6 seconds clear of Dino Beganovic. Beganovic uh, drops back behind him 
And then Jack Crawford and Isaac Ajara are a full eight seconds off the back of Arthur Leclerc at this point. So it is absolutely astonishing, the difference. So still, they continue in close proximity. There is the 23 car. That is Pepe Marti. He has worked his way up to 13th place, so he is not far from the points at all now. But he's still got a bit of work to do. And the talented 16-year-old Spaniard is doing everything he can to get himself back into title contention, but it's looking to be a lost battle. So there isn't really a lot that can be said about it. There isn't really a lot that can be done about it either. So from their point of view, it will be a tough defeat. It will be a tough situation to be in, but at least they gave it their best shot. So the challenge is going to be very high for the rest of the season from the rest of the competitors with nothing more to lose into the pits and to retire, I do believe, has come Nicola Marinangeli as down the straight, wheel to wheel. There's a warning flag gone out for the 36. That is Ido Cohen, who has gone back out onto the track, I do believe, as we go wheel to wheel. Evans GP versus Pinnacle Motorsport. Going side by side, very close together. That is Pepe Marti and Sami Megatunif. Megatunif, oh no, sorry, that is the 30 of Michael Beloff, I should say, his teammate. But through he goes. So Pepe Marti is through past Michael Beloff and into 12th position. Oh, and a spin. Now, that is one of the Abu Dhabi Racing by Prima cars. That is Hamda al I do believe, in the 88 car. So Hamda al I do believe, has spun and dropped back. Whoa, Pepe Marti pushing very hard as he tries to get well clear of Beloff and Megatunif. But this is not going to be easy. But for Arthur Leclerc, he is in a strong position. He is out in front. He is doing exactly what he needs to do. And he is just six minutes away from becoming the 2022 Formula Regional Asia champion. He's been awesome this season. He really has been the dominant force. But he is in a great position at the moment as the drivers continue on their way. And this is all going to be a wonderful performance wrapped up. There is Dino Boganovic, the super sweet Dynamite Dino, as he is known in uh, second position. There is Jack Crawford, still hanging on in front of Isaac Ajar, Gabrielli Mini and Paul Laurent. It has been a very tame race by the championship's standards, but that is exactly what Arthur Leclerc wanted, because now he is in victory position. He is in the winning frame of mind, and this is exactly what he was hoping for. What an exceptional display it has been and he really has been on fine form throughout. So he will continue on his way. It's been a strong march, and he has been an absolutely amazing. But now it will all come his way after what has been a thrilling battle. Over the course of this season, the previous 12 races, Arthur Leclerc was strong, solid, and consistent. He only really pushed and dominated races when he needed to. He banked points the rest of the time. This is gonna be an interesting one. As up the inside, that is the number seven car of Vladislav Lomko getting past David Morales. So Vladislav Lomko is one of the other two new faces here this weekend. So it's been very exciting from his point of view. And Vladislav Lomko was meant to be in the car last week, but unfortunately he was ill, he couldn't attend. So he's been able to make sure he's there at least for the season finale, which is better than nothing. So Vladislav Lomko. Finishing off in as best a style as he possibly can. Pepe Marti is doing his best to eat into the gap of Francesco Brasci, but it's uh, not gone his way in this one after a difficult start, and he's barely left the grid. So problems, I'm afraid, for Pepe Marti in this one. And that's dropped him all the way back, which means that there's going to be a bit of a fairy tale for the Mumbai Falcons team. They came into the championship last season as novices and they had some great performances from Johan Darabala and Kush Mayani. But this time, it is going to be a victory for the fourth time this season for their man Arthur Leclerc, for the seventh time over the course of the season because Sebastian Montoya picked up two wins and Dino Boganovic picked up a win at the Dubai Autodrome a couple of weeks ago. But now as we reach the closing stages of this epic first race of the weekend, it is going to be the 13th race, and it's going to be Arthur Leclerc that bring, uh, brings home the championship with two races to go. And that means that everybody can have some fun in the last two races. It'll be the reverse grid race this evening under the lights here at Yas Marina. And, of course, the third race will be 
the race that finishes us off on a high tomorrow afternoon. But what a battle, what a terrific display it has been as the competitors have given us so much to be excited about all the way through. And now we're going to finish off strong. So into the final couple of laps of the race here at Yas Marina. We've had a fantastic battle leading up to this. There is Isaac Ajar still trying to get to the podium. But it will be tricky to try and get that gap down. Two months ago, Max Verstappen became Formula One world champion on this very circuit. And now here today, another big name, another famous legacy will continue because Arthur Leclerc, the younger brother of Charles Leclerc, He's going to get the job done for the Mumbai Falcons racing team and wrap up his first junior single-seater title at this level. And that will go very nicely for him as he quests for the FIA Formula 3 championship title later this season. What a stunning, stunning season it has been, though, for Arthur Leclerc. An excellent job and an excellent season. What a performance. What a great result it will be for him and the team. Still great battles all the way through the field. Now, this is going to be between teammates by the look of it. As a bit of a late challenge from Sami Megatunif on Michael Belov, but he's not going to get through there into the chicane. He will try again on the next lap, and he's only going to get one more lap, I think. So across the line, and these two will battle away. The checkered flag will come out shortly, and it'll come here on the, on the back straight rather than on the main straight. The 55 car has been given a warning, and that is Ayato Iwasaki. I'm not entirely sure what that's for, but now these two teammates are going to go side by side again. Belov and Megatunif. And what's more, Michael Belov just holds his teammate at bay. If in doubt, just hold your position. So still they race and still they give us plenty of entertainment throughout the field. But this is going to be a glorious, glorious day for the team who have been absolutely exceptional all the way through the season. They've come here with a game plan. They knew what they wanted to do. They knew what they wanted to achieve. And they've gone about it in an incredibly strong manner. And it's been wonderful to see what these guys have been able to create over the course of the last few weeks. It's been a fabulous performance from them all. The whole team have rallied round each other. They have worked very hard, tooth and nail on the engineering side. And uh, how about it for a uh, amazing uh, guest this weekend? They have the legendary cricketer Kapil Dev, who is uh, down in uh, pit lane to watch it all unfold. He knows how to win an incredible championship. And now we're going to see Arthur Leclerc go into his final lap so that he can proceed to get the job done himself. What an amazing story this is for Arthur Leclerc. He's been amazing over the course of the season. You run out of superlatives for a driver like this, you really do. The young man from Monaco has been absolutely exceptional. And now he and his teammate, Dino Boganovic, will lead the team in formation as they come through. There will be two races still to go. So as far as I can tell, mathematically, the team's championship won't be wrapped up till race two, provided they stay in a decent position. But it's looking pretty done and dusted. So, a fantastic situation from the competitors. It really has been wonderful. So, we are in for an amazing conclusion to the season. But for this man, it can't come fast enough. He's only got a handful of corners and a handful of kilometers to go. What a performance. And everybody will remember where they were when this young man came to town. He's going to get the job done in fantastic fashion. As he drops down the hill, this is where the victory will come. After the hairpin, what a sensational story. This is only the second season in international competition for the Mumbai Falcons team. And I know for a fact that Amit Hajinda Gadok, Navit Singh Gadok, and uh, Moit Tungakar and all the team down there will be absolutely delighted with the way this has played out. It's been phenomenal. It's been amazing. But when the Mumbai Falcons came to battle, they flew to the victory. And here comes Arthur Leclerc into the chicane for the last time. He bows down the straight. And for the fourth time this year, Arthur Leclerc is the winner in Formula Regional Asia. And in doing so, he becomes Formula Regional Asian Champion 2022. Dino Beganovic is second. 
Third place across the line will be Jack Crawford in front of Isaac Hajar. Gabrielli Mini ahead of Paul Aron, Oliver Behrman, Patrick Pasma, Delana Van Toff and Pierre-Louis Chauvet who will get the reverse grid pole for tomorrow's race. Unfortunate for Pepe Marti, but for Arthur Leclerc, he will come through in fantastic style. India can celebrate. Arthur Leclerc is triumphant. He is the Formula Regional Asian Champion 2022.